there is so much going on in the Keys right now. If you live here, I don't have to tell you that because you obviously know that there are events happening all the time. We're going to talk this morning about the local theater, specifically the Key West Fringe. They are presenting the Broadway smash hit seminar, and I'm joined this morning by the director, Dennis Zacek. Dennis, thank you for being here with me today on the show. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> All right, Dennis, you spent many years up in Chicago working as a director. So what brought you down here to Key West? Yeah, I spent 34 years in Chicago as the artistic director of a place called the Victory Gardens Theater. And uh, I have a friend who lives in Key West, Robin Robinson, who you met a few minutes ago. and. She's been talking to me about Key West for years and has suggested that I come to Key West to direct something. And so I came to visit her about a year ago and met with a few people and the word got around that I was interested and available. And so Monty King, who is the artistic director of the Fringe Theater, called me up when I got back to Chicago and said, I understand you're interested, and I understand you're interested in a play called Seminar. She said, send me a copy. I sent her a copy, and she called back and said, let's do it. And so here I am. Here you are, yeah. and you are ready to go. Tell me about Seminar. Well, it was uh, a big hit in New York on Broadway, uh, starring Alan Rickman. And then there was another production, which was in LA with Jeff Goldblum in the lead. And this, to my knowledge, is the third time it's being done. So this is a big deal for Key West because we're getting a premiere mm -hmm. uh, featuring two Key West actors and then mm -hmm. two actors from Chicago and one actress from Miami. So it's an interesting mix of talent. Oh, okay. So they're not all local then. No, no. The two locals are uh, Mike Mulligan and Quincy Perkins, who are very well known. Mm -hmm. um, Hannah Citron is from Miami. And then uh, Bex Marsh and uh, Ed Porter are from Chicago. Okay. So I brought two people with me from Chicago. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, now did you work with those two in Chicago? I didn't, but I auditioned them, of course, okay. and um, gave them the opportunity to join us in paradise. And so they're very happy to be here. And it's a, it's a great ensemble, if I do say so myself, and the, the mix is working quite well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Now, how would you say that the theater scene, scene down here in the Keys differs from that in Chicago? Well, I know it may be hard to believe, but there are currently over 200 individual theaters in the Chicago area, in the greater metropolitan area. Wow. So it happens to be one of the great theater centers of the world. But prior to 1974, there wasn't much activity. So that's when it started. Key West, to my knowledge, has three theaters at the present time. But, you know, uh, if things continue to uh, go in the uh, appropriate direction, I, I do think it's possible for Key West to have four and five and maybe even six theaters. Uh, you know, good theater always breeds more good theater. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, do you think you're going to be directing any more plays down here in the Keys? Well, that's... That's for the producer to decide. <laughs> and that's to be decided, <laughs> yes, right? Yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, we'll see how you do with seminar. I'm sure you, you will do just fine. And why should our audience go and see seminar? Well, I think it is a, a very smart, engaging, hip piece, uh, which writ was written by Teresa Rebeck right up to the minute. And in addition to all of that, it deals a lot with sex. <laughs> so they might enjoy that. They again. probably will. <laughs> and now this will be opening very soon. Yes, yes. The 22nd of February. Okay. There's only nine performances. Mm -hmm. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, starting the 22nd. And then it closes on March 10th on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Nine performances, approximately 50 seats per night. So if you're interested, you should get your tickets as soon as possible. Yeah, absolutely. I'm yeah. sure these tickets are going to go fast. And you can call Keys Ticks or else, of course, go to the Key West Fringe website. You'll find out all the information you need to know. And like Dennis said, the 
Tickets are going to go fast, so get them now. Right. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here, and I hope that there are many more plays that you'll be well, directing. Why, thank you so much. Very kind of you. <laughs> Wait, now, you <laughs> mentioned, too, that you did some acting as well? Yes, I, I, I am now uh, a freelance actor as well, and mm -hmm. uh, I did a show not too long ago uh, in Chicago called Illegal Use of Hands. Mm -hmm. And uh, after I leave here, I'll have a little downtime, but I will be going to Drury Lane in Oak Brook, mm -hmm. outside of Chicago, to do a, a play called Boing Boing, oh. which is a, a big deal because it's a, a large theater and I've got, I probably will have a star in the production. I can't tell you who it is yet mm -hmm. because I don't know okay. whether she will accept. Right. Well, you'll have to come back on the yeah. show and tell us. And hopefully then we can see you on stage here in Key West, not uh, just behind the scenes. Well, that's a possibility, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's a possibility. Thank you again for being on this morning. And thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. I hope that you can join me back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. and then again at 8.30 a.m. Happy Valentine's Day. It'll be okay